Yeah, M zero FXB, look at this. No idea what's going on with it. Caution UVK six with uh, updated firmware. Just, how cool that looks. I'll put a link into that firmware. And then, on the left here, if we turn it up. TYT MD9600 running the OpenGD77 modified firmware. So this is what Ham, Ham Raid is all about, modifying firmware. And in the background there, we've got my talk pod on Zello. It works well. It's a nice, nice little set. Quite nice size. So Not too expensive, I think they're about £120, those ones. So that's Zello. Yeah, but, I, you know, I do love this K6, you know, like... £15 this K6 cost. And look at that, and it's VHF, UHF, it will get the airband, but it's a bit squashed. It doesn't sound great, but you can still hear it. The TYT, let's turn this down. The TYT also has satellite mode, if you go... Menu, let's look for satellite. You have to put in your GPS coordinates. You don't need GPS, but you need the coordinates. And look at this. That's all the satellites coming in a list. Enter, you can see when you choose one. If you push enter again, it even gives you the, the transmit receive frequencies. There it is there, just pushing down with the arrow. How cool is that? I just think it's brilliant. So fantastic sets, I mean, the TYT, You'll get one of these brand new for about £230, £15 to £20 for this. Prices go up and down. Uh, just enjoying myself playing radio, to be honest. And this modified firmware. And look how good the audio is from this £15 radio that is USB-C charging. Even came with a cradle charger. No, it's definitely the right one because it's got the GB prefix in front of it. Um... Another thing, the OpenGD77 model, if I back out, it actually will act as a hotspot. So all you do is go menu, down to, I'll find it, options, enter, enter, and it will turn this radio into a hotspot. Now it only transmits at about 0 0.750 milliwatts. And you can either use the Blue DV system like that for DMR or if you turn this knob you can use the Pi style just turn it off and then it's a normal dual band VHF UHF DMR radio you get all the contacts on screen you can select what you're going to see now I've selected there call signs and, and distance you can scroll through your different zones and channels like any radio you've got to learn it there's no easy with DMR radios. I'll always say that. There's no easy. There's learn. There's learn, 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 and then and then forget, and then have to learn it all over again. Another interesting thing is that with the firmware update. Look how quickly the the, the DMR radio goes off. How they do that? 